Hi guys, I'm Adam Wilborn from What Culture Football, joined by Adam Nicholas from What Culture Football. You've grown. What do you mean? We've always been this like we've always seen out a while like this, you know? No? News to me. <coughs> and welcome to Ooh. our latest Ooh. transfer oh. rumours update. <laughs> Today, talking all about Manchester United. The Red Devils being linked with three major signings. Uh, Fred, which may well happen in the next few hours, if you believe some people on Twitter. Toby Alderweireld and Diogo Dallo. Diogo Dallo. From Porto. Yes. Um, Adam, what do you make of all these? So, Fred seems like a no-brainer at the minute. Uh, he's had a good season with Shakhtar, who obviously won the league this year. Mm -hmm. because, And he was a big contributor for that. But, like... In terms of what you can expect from him, as we've got written down here, we've got a forward-thinking Makalele kind of player who's mm. basically very good at breaking up the play, but also able to contribute. I think they've compared him to like Fernandinho from Man City, who's also a big, big yeah. player for them. It was kind of weird to think he was being linked with Man United because the last I'd heard, he was yeah he was going to City, he was going there to sort of replace mm. Fernandinho, mm. and it would seem that he would fit into that system a little bit better than than United. Yeah, well, I think obviously Fernandinho has had. He's been great in the past, but I guess they're there, like for Man City, they're trying to find new players, trying to find how do you improve on a team that's just had such an amazing season, really. Um, he was obviously one of the guys they were looking at, but it seems now like it could be Man United. And in terms of his ability, well, it seems unquestionable. Mm. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, they're, they're looking for a player, I suppose, not to come in and replace Matic, but to maybe join him in that centre midfield. You know, we all know what Matic mm. can do for a team. He's demonstrated it for Chelsea and now for Manchester United. But... They've struggled a little bit with trying to play Pogba alongside him because they don't really gel. Whereas if you had those three, if you had Fred in there alongside mm. Matic and allowing Pogba perhaps to have a more freer role, that potentially, I mean, at least it's, at least it's worth a try, I suppose. Yeah, well, it would free up it would free up Pogba, which is, I guess, for this season, the one problem Pogba's had is he hasn't, had, he hasn't been able to contribute as much as Mourinho probably would have liked. The idea would be surely to get him. He's a great player, there's no question about it. I know there's been talk of maybe he might have been going back to the event this at one point, but the fact of the matter is Pogba's great. They need to find a way to free him up, and by getting the player alongside Matt, who's going to allow him to have that free role, could be just the way to do it. And he loves the sort of counter-attacking style yeah. that would fit in probably better with United because they sort of slow play it a little bit and they need mm. to quicken that attack when they when they do win the ball back. And that's been a big issue with United. They've, they used to play fast, incredibly counter-attack football. Now they play sort of this slow, like slow pace, nitty-gritty sort of stuff, which is frustrating at times for their fans who are used to seeing such an impressive brand of football. That would really help bring that back for them. And Fred also could contribute to the mm. attack as well. Now, these, these people they're being linked with maybe aren't necessarily the the jazzy, forward-thinking no. footballers that yeah. some United fans were, were hoping for. But it is what they need. Let's talk about Toby yeah. Alderweireld now. Yeah. I mean, you look at that defensive unit for Man United. Um, they've got a fantastic, world-class goalkeeper in there. And then they've got Phil Jones in front of him. <laughs> England's Phil Jones. I think you have yep. call him correctly by his name. Um, yeah, they've got, as we thought, they've got like Jones, Smallin, Darmian, Shaw, Blind. Oh, these are all names you're not going to like set the world alight by mm. like naming them. Um, I think we know that Man United are capable. De Gea speaks for himself. He can do that easily. No problem there. Back lane obviously needs a strengthen. And obviously with Fred coming in there, that's another position. So you can tell they're focusing a lot on the defensive mind of things rather than the incredible attack they have up front. And if you're thinking it's a bit strange that maybe Spurs will <laughs> sell Alderweireld to Man United, they are kind of cashing in because next mm. summer uh, his contract will kick in, or a clause in his contract will kick in, which means he'll be available for just £25 million, pounds, which yeah. is a bargain for a defender like yeah. that with Premier League experience. Absolutely. I mean, obviously he's 29 years old, so it's kind of, you, you might think, oh, he's a bit on the older end, but actually he's probably got the experience mm. now. He's obviously with Belgium, they're going to have all the experience from this World Cup, which... To be fair, you'd look at that squad and think that's probably a contender if they can get it together. A bit like England's golden generation, but we'll not get into that one. But yeah, Toby Alvaro, absolute snip if they can get him like on the cheap at this time. And aside from the Champions League final, we've sort of seen what having a really quality, experienced central defender can do for a team. Like when Van Dijk went to Liverpool, you played Lovren alongside him and he actually looked pretty decent. They yeah. were pretty solid going mm. forward. So... Yes, there is an, uh, an argument that there may be a complete defensive overhaul at Man United, but you could argue that you've put someone like Smalling next to Alderweireld, yeah. he looks a lot better player. Now, whether or not you then bring in the likes of uh, Danny Rose or Alexandro, mm -hmm. they're looking for left and right backs mm -hmm. as well, which we'll just get onto in a second. But yeah, I think I don't think you need a completely new back four, but maybe 
three of the back four to be replaced. So let's talk about uh, Diogo Dallo as well. Just the three of the yeah. back four, by the way. <laughs> yeah, Diogo Dallo is obviously this young lad they've got from Porto, 19 years old. Not a lot to say about him because he's just kind of broken into the Porto squad. They've had a great season, as they always do, Porto in the uh, Portuguese league. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be unheard of for Mourinho to go and do that. He's very, very on the pulse of Portuguese players in particular. Obviously, we remember when he first came out to Chelsea, he brought literally the entire Porto <laughs> back line that won the Champions League. And I guess maybe a lot of people sort of comparing uh, Dallo to sort of a very young but a much better Paulo Ferreira, which would be like perfect. That would suit a, a man who went to Chelsea and got an absolute living, who I always fancied, but a lot of people always thought no. he was a bit... The mm-hmm. average to say the least, but I suppose he did get replaced by someone like Jose Basingwa. So, <laughs> you know, there's a name we don't all want to remember. But a man with one eyebrow, <laughs> one eyebrow, and one. a seven head. <laughs> 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 but yes, yeah, so basically, Dallo could be the guy to come in at a young age. Obviously, might not be a starter, but someone perhaps to build for the future. Well, what do you think about these potential Manchester United transfers? Do you think there's any rumour or any substance to the rumour that? A account that we're not sure is Fred's on Twitter, <laughs> not verified, yeah. replied to one comment about him going to Man United, and apparently that is now gospel. Yeah, don't know where you're supposed to take with that. Are you? I, mean, I mean, that's what transfer <laughs> rumours are nowadays yeah. Instagram comments mm. and Twitter replies. But what do you think? Do you think this is the right thing to do for United? Sort of solidify that back line? No, they, they weren't that defensively weak last season. Yeah, I mean, they only, they only conceded one more goal than Manchester City did, which when well, you they, think they, they scored a lot they less. They scored a lot less, yeah. they did, didn't you? But do you think this will yeah. maybe be the, the, the basis from which they can build an attack and free up players like Pogba? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let us know who else you think Manchester United need to sign this summer to close the what was the points gap they had on Ooh, City, I, think, I, I think it was like 19 points it was 160 mind, yeah. wow mind the gap do you think 100 to 81 bloody points. hell yeah. 100 points 100 points to 81 points Yeah. just buy everyone that City were going to buy basically <laughs> Man United uh, letting us know your thoughts in the comment section below don't forget to like share and subscribe and myself and Adam Nicholas we'll see you very soon see you soon Wow, wasn't that great, guys? I don't know. It's your decision. Uh, Subscribe if you enjoyed it down here. Check out more of our content over here or check out some of our other channels over here. Oh, you better click it. Click it before I do. No, seriously, you should click it then.